technology for which I am to be using the downstream processing laboratory. So the laboratory has many instruments which are highly sophisticated. For example, homogenizer, lyophilizer, uh, ultrasonicator, and bioreactors. So I am going to be specifically working with bioreactors for the growth of microorganisms in a sterile and a controlled environment. Greetings for the day, I'm Shaktivel, a final year B.Tech student here at Biotechnology STC. My field of interest is Computational Systems Biology and I work here at the Computational Systems Biology and Biotechnology Laboratory. So in this laboratory we have various desktops which are at high configuration and which contains the Intel i7 processor. Uh, in this laboratory we, have, we perform various uh, bioinformatics and computational biology applications such as molecular modeling, molecular dynamics, computer-aided drug discovery and much more. My work is basically dependent on molecular modeling and molecular dynamics. The systems over here play a major role in our, in our project works and the research works. So hello everyone, I'm Akshara and I'm from the fourth year of the biotechnology department. My field of interest is environmental biotechnology and as you all may have already known, chemistry and bioorganic chemistry is a major part of uh, the environmental biotechnology. So I carried out a mini project which involved algae and many facilities which were required for the mini project were already present in the bioorganic chemistry lab as well as in the other labs present in SPC. So we majorly used the centrifuge in order to extract the algae from uh, the culture which we had established and not only that, once our experiment was complete, we required a very low temperature for the storage of the algae and for which we had the, uh, the refrigerator which could be adjusted up to minus 80 degrees Celsius in our lab. So due to all these facilities, we were able to finish our project quickly and also very successfully. Good day to all. My name is Arvind Srinivasan and I am closing the fourth year or final year in, bio, in the Department of Biotechnology here at SCCE. My field of interest lies in food processing and food preservation and thus I am pursuing my final year project in, the, in this field. And I am doing it in the microbiology lab where they have the required equipments that are required to maintain the aseptic condition of the lab. So the media and the microbes that are used in completing this project were being stored in our incubators and rotary shakers and they are found to be in pristine condition even after a certain period of time. Provides proof that our department here uh, gives importance to the workmanship and also the uh, incredible inventory management that enables our projects to yield better and faster results. I am Varshini here. I am from final year. My field of interest is immunology and I am currently doing my project in a cardiovascular disease. To uh, study the path of histological pathway, the gene expression of the pathway can be delineated using the RT-PCR and the protein expression can be studied using a semi-quantitative method by Western blotting and a quantitative method by ELISA. Gene manipulation techniques like gene silencing and overexpression can also be performed and the cell, in case of any cell damage, fluorescent microscopy can be used to be visualized. My name is Tapasvi, my field of interest is cell and molecular biology and because of this interest, I've actually been part of the iGEM team and I manage the funding and finance part of it. So speaking of iGEM, it's a conference on, on genetic engineering and synthetic biology and our aim is to show a proof of concept about an idea that we're going to solve using gene manipulation. So we're immensely grateful for all the support we've received from our college and our department and our esteemed alumni, both monetary and kind. So apart from this monetary funding, we have first class equipments, we have sophisticated equipments to run in C, PCR and RT-PCR. We also use FTIR regularly in our project, without which we would not be able, which would which we would not, uh, you know, progress at the rate at which we're progressing. Speaking of our progress, we're also one of the 90 teams to win the team impact grant this year. And this is our fourth year taking part in IGEM. The three years before that we've taken part, we've bagged two silver medals, one bronze. And because we've won the team impact grant, we're equally confident that we can bag a medal this year as well.